By default, our audio and video clips are linked together whenever we're performing an edit within DaVinci Resolve. So if I select this clip, we can see that the audio clip is selected as well. Coming to our second, if I select the audio, we can see that the video is selected as well. If I want to trim the audio, that's gonna affect the video. Coming over to our last clip, if I'd like to trim the video, that's gonna trim the audio as well. And you can notice in the bottom left corner of each of these clips, we have a little chain link icon. But there may be times when we want to edit each of these clips individually, the audio, maybe we want to trim this without affecting our video. And we have several different ways that we can go about that. So let's take a look. Now, the first method that we can use is to right click on our clip. Then at the very bottom of our contextual menu, we have link clips. Now, if I select that, I'm gonna come and select a different clip and then come back to the original that we unlinked. Now I can independently select our video clip or our audio. So if I'd like to trim the front of this audio here, when I have the single bracket, I can then click hold and pull that in without affecting the position of our video. Let's control Z to undo that. And alternatively, if I were to trim the end of the video clip here, click, hold and drag, pull to the left that we can see, I can adjust that independent of our audio. Let's again undo. And if you notice here, the chain link icon in the bottom left is now removed from these two clips. If we come over to the other ones that we have not unlinked, we can still see that icon below. If we'd like to relink these clips, then I'll click once to select the video, hold shift and select the audio. Now, while they're both highlighted, I'll right click and choose to link clips. We can now see the chain link icon is back in the left. And now when I select the audio, the video is selected as well, back to its previous behavior. Now the second method that we can make use of is by locking our tracks. So say I'd like to trim the front of this audio here while leaving the video in its same position. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the track header for our video one track, and let's click on the lock icon here, clicking once. That will then lock our video track and then I can perform trim or editing to the audio. So coming to the front of that, let's click hold and drag and I can pull this audio clip back without affecting the start position of the video. Let's undo that and then we can come to the end and we can trim here as well, not affecting our video. Let's undo and we can unlock our video. Let's come to our audio track and lock that just to show that we can do the same with our video. Now the final method that we can use is by unlinking all clips in our entire project. So for that, we can come to the header of our timeline and then we can see the chain link icon here and this is gonna be active by default, but if we click once to toggle that off, I can then select any video or audio clip and make adjustments to it independently. So this is just a global setting here that's gonna turn linking off for all clips within our project. Now let's go ahead and reactivate that because I just wanna show that for this feature and for unlinking in the other ones, once we relink, these are going to adjust in relation to each other. So if we perform future edits after we make adjustments independently, then these are going to be edited relative to one another. Coming over to our last clip, adjusting the video, we can see the audio will follow along relative to the trim that we did while these were unlinked.